Hello everyone! Welcome back to some more Let's Play The Legend of Blackrock. Is that right? I think so. <laughs> Black Silver! No, Black Silver! Black Silver. I'm playing uh, Legend of Grimrock at the same time. Legend of Grimrock, Legend of Black Silver. Both have legends and ofs in their names. I'm getting confused. Yes, where we left off, I believe we reacquired the magic staff from Mantrek, the leader of the, I guess, s southern area of this continent, or at least some lands around there. Maybe that one little area without any other kingdoms. Anyway, we retrieved it from him. He bought it off the black market, which I guess is fair and square for him. Unfortunately, he had to deal with Trimus Dauradon, who showed up to, to reclaim it. What else have we done? I ran around, I think, off-screen and did a little bit uh, outside of what you guys had seen. I tried getting my endurance up to 39, and I wasn't able to do so. Like, it's actually really flippin' tough. So, uh, I'm leaving my endurance at 38. Uh, it, I can't. I can't seem to do it. Uh, what else has happened? Nothing else, I think. Oh, maybe I also purchased another Amethyst Gem, or have yet to use that Amethyst Gem, down at the Vase of, Vase of Souls. In the one, I think that's the last exhibit we have to open in the original archives at Owl Temple. Okay, and I didn't yet spend the silver coins because I'm tempted to go and get more money by redoing the mines, Tarag Taragus's mines, for more cash. We can purchase more dungeon spells. We should be able to make a profit down there, especially now that I have a lot of glow tips and what have you, too. All right, well, anyway, first we're going to level, and we're outside the the castle here. Actually, we definitely want to do the mine, because I, I want that money so I can repurchase my strength from the gentleman in, in the Citadel. Well, in any case, I'm hitting the wrong buttons. Let's walk on into the castle. And I would imagine we'll level up upon returning the orb and the staff to the folks. Let's go ahead and do so. We also have that signet ring, which... We, it was hinted that we're going to need it for something, so I'm glad we managed to purchase that from the elf. $2,500 to take a test that we thankfully passed. Don't want to accidentally use the laggard vapors. Let's use another one here. And down we go. To Cerevol. And let's go ahead and give him a talk to. Because of your victories, I promote thee to warrior. Intelligence plus five. The dexterity plus five. The prince requests an audience. Absolutely. Wonderful. Hey! Intelligence plus five. I'm tempted not to bother fighting the master then in Trist. Okay, we also have the staff that we were supposed to bring back here. I forgot that we already dropped off the orb. Oh, oh right, okay, so we were leveled. I think our new hit points are 700, but they might be anywhere from six to eight. We'll find out when we get to a temple and get ourselves healed. You found the staff. Thank you. Words cannot express my gratitude. I hope you accept these three silver coins as a small symbol of my thanks. I hope and pray that the following news is actually good. My father has been located. Taragus imprisoned him deep in the Marthbane tunnels. In return for your help, I give you these two emeralds and two silver coins. I know I can count on you. Oh, thank you, Prince, very much. Wow, let's talk to him again and see if he has anything else to tell us. There is no more I can tell you right now. Sorry, uh, your our hopes are still with you. Okay. Let's head on up then to Saravol. Talk to him. Just to see if he has anything else to tell us. And then we're off to the Taragus' mines. <clears throat> Not the Marthbane tunnels. But I'll do that off screen. Hello, Saravol. I have nothing else to tell you. Get out of here. <laughs> yes, sir. All right, let's go ahead and get out of here. Where where are we going, I wonder? 
Oh, right. I, I, I already said we're going to Taragus's Mines. We have some excellent weapons we can use there. Better, we have decent armor, and our spell casting is significantly better. We'll have a slightly more strength than the last time we were in there. And we've also got better decks and endurance. So this shouldn't be too difficult to do. But I don't need you guys to watch me do this. Since I'm just redoing a dungeon we've already done before. The only question is, do I want to pick up another weapon just in case? There's no bank at Clisshold Creek. There's a bank at the city near the mines, though, at Riverbend? So let's head up there. Hello, Brain Spites. I'm just going to kill you. And then we'll do the mines. Again, though, I'll, well, I'll do the mines, and I'll show you guys what has transpired after I successfully do them. Let's think here. We want our climbing gear. Oh, one second, everyone. The volume is really loud. Right, so why are we doing this? Well, we don't have a lot of money. And honestly, the Marthbane Tunnels are going to be significantly more difficult than the mines I'm about to do. Uh, no. As such, I want to be really well prepared before I go into that dungeon. By having quite a few more dungeon spells ready to go to handle emergencies. Yes. Yes. In particular, we want Annihilates. I may want my Intelligence up after all. What's our Intelligence? Oh, 40. No, we're not going to have any any problems. I don't think we need to actually play the Master in Trist. I risk losing a lot of Intelligence if I fail to actually defeat him. No, no Blackjack. Uh, no. As you wish. Sorry, I don't, I don't need to deliver packages any longer. We are done with packages and doing odd jobs. This is a food place? Nope, that's the Marina. Oh! I didn't visit a temple yet. I probably should do that to heal fully. But we can also... I can also use the healing urns. That will be in the mines to heal up. Okay, I can do that, I suppose. Let's find that weapon shop and armor shop. See, I don't think I found a weapon shop in Riverbend the past few times I've been here, have I? There's Protecto. Which is this place. Has absolute trash for items. And over here was the bank. But I don't know where the weapon shop is in this place. It's not that. Maybe it's around the back of Protecto? Let's find out really quick. I don't think I've actually ever stepped into the weapons store, if there even is one. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't think I've been here before. I just put all my money in the bank. Hopefully, well, hopefully these do sell better gear. Sharp stuff. I don't think I've been here before. What are you selling? You selling sharp stuff? A shoddy leaded club. So that's the next best weapon. He also has a good sword, but I think we'll be okay. He actually had blood stuff. All right. Well, everyone, I'm going to head, be heading to the mines. So I will see you guys in a few seconds. And I'll show you what happened when I'm done. Okay, everyone. Just did the dungeon. You can see that I'm down somewhat amount of food. I don't really remember uh, how much I lost there. But we earned 4832 bucks, more or less. That's fantastic. And I didn't use a single life elixir when I was in there. The creatures were tough, but I was able to still get through them. Um, it seemed like I only did like one more point of damage to the creatures. So that's that's pretty bad. I did like, I thought I would do a lot more than that. I did go through a few tongues of flame. So we'll want to rebuy those as well. 
So, the question now is, do I spend the money on spells, or do I spend this money on my strength? And then, no matter which one I choose, I really think I need to do these mines again to walk out here with hopefully another 4,000 bucks. So, hmm, why don't we spend this on the strength? We'll have to hope the Citadel doesn't remember us when we get back down there. Then we can spend the rest to keep ourselves healed. We'll buy a single life elixir, replenish the spells we used, and then I think I'll, again, off-screen redoing that dungeon. Okay, we're healed off all the way. Never mind, don't have to stop by the three fed wheezes. Oh, that reminds me, but not fed wheezes, but seeing the number three. We probably want to also find some better weaponry. 132 bucks, wow. Maybe it would be for my best interest just to kill all the creatures of above world instead. It took maybe mm, 40 minutes to do the dungeon or so as well. In 40 minutes, can I get that much money by just walking around the world? I'm not sure. I never really thought to compare that, right? I guess it's not like the hero tends to sit down and be like, okay. If I walk around the planet for, like, three years, and I kill this many creatures, and it takes me this many, this much time to do that, is that, is that worth it compared to going into dungeons and doing this XX or this stuff instead? Like, I, I don't know. <laughs> it seems kind of weird to think of the game that way. But a game like this where, oh, that's, oh, hold on a second. That's Dragon Wheel. We could win a lot of money in Dragon Wheel, if I'm willing to bet a lot of money on it. Let's look for the weapons while I'm here, and see if we have something better than great swords. A bank? We don't need the bank at the moment. No, I will never play a game of Hilo, because I know you guys cheat. This is, oh, nope, there's a prisoner. I shouldn't need prisoners for the rest of the game. I think I remember what to do with everything. Hard knocks, what do you got today? Superb chainmail. Sold. Let's sell our great chainmails. Actually, we'll sell one of them. Oh, then again, we're not, well, I will be struggling for money. Let's, yeah, let's let's sell the great chain mail. Well, then again, no, nah, we'll just hold on to it. Maybe we'll need it if we go into a dungeon and get our armor smashed by a thumper or by a spike. We'll fight spikes later. A great sword? We already have a great sword. I don't really need another one. Let's leave. All right, to the citadel where we will purchase our strength. I guess we can do it on screen. I want to record if the if the guards remember us. Uh oh, that's bad. We didn't lose any hit points though, which is good. Uh, that brings us to the one temple. I don't need to go to that temple. We should stop in here though and check the weapon shop. At Ridgeport. Oh, I guess we can spend some money replenishing our spells while we're here. The spell shop here is decent. Let's visit the armor and weapon shop first. Hit me weapons. What do you got? A good leaded club. Purchase one of those. Little armor shop. What's the next armor? Are you selling it yet? Oh, fair chain mail. I think bar mail is what's next. Never really understood why it was called bar mail. I don't know what it, like, I've never seen that armor. I have the internet now, I guess I can look it up. All right, so I need to purchase some glow tips. I'm gonna want five of these. And I'm gonna want probably three armor enchants. That makes up for some of what I use in that dungeon. The rest of this we need to hold on to because I need to purchase 
from the mage back down there, whatever his name was. Hopefully they don't remember us again here. If they do, all we have to do is just wait more time in order to enter without being attacked. Okay, let's use our rope and pulley. And we'll head on in. I guess we're doing this on screen now. Do you remember me? You do not, perfect. We don't have to fight the guards this time. We don't, I don't intend to open any treasure chests. Over time, as we saw earlier, these treasure chests will refill. It will take a long time. I've, I don't think I've ever seen all of them refill because I just don't let that time much time pass in game before I beat the game again. I don't think they ever get their gems back or silver coins. I think those remain gone from any chest you open. Like while I was inside the dungeon, any chest which had a quest item in it or a silver coin didn't spawn. I guess we. Uh, we could go upstairs as well and check to see if anyone else has anything to say, but I don't think anyone does. So let's just, let's do this. We'll use our quartz key. What's our strength? 22? I believe our last dealings cost you some strength. Would you like some back for hmm, 3,000 gold? The deed is done. Excellent. Back up to 27 again. All right, that was, that was arguably worth it. Probably really worth it. We can't just leave this, unfortunately. We have to walk out, but we're not killing any guards. And we're not going to open any chests. So, well, I'm so hungry. It's dinner time. Well, I guess I'm going to go back and do the mines again, because I really don't want to do the Marthbane tunnels with the supplies I've currently got. We could raid our bank in so much that we could take out a lot of our savings to afford all the spells I would want, but doing the mines would give me an excuse to walk around and see if we can get some better leaded clubs next as well. So maybe we will just wait. Maybe it'll be next episode I do the Marthbane tunnels. I'll tell you what, let's do this. Let's go up to the Owl Temple and look at the Vase of Souls. And we'll see what that can do for us. Maybe it can give us more stats, or it sounds like it might give us more wisdom or endurance, maybe? Or who knows what it will do. I do. But you guys might not. So let's go ahead and equip our climbing gear. And head on over there. A squeezer, just a single squeezer? Oh, squeezer. Kill you. 70 damage. Good God. That was awesome. The strength of 27 really matters, apparently. Let's approach it. Wow, that's quite a spread. 16 to 70? I believe my glow tip is also still in effect, as is my armor enchant, so I should keep that in mind as well. Hello, Trillop, you generally are friendly. Not today. <laughs> Let you go for 22. Ah! Shove, our, shove our sword into his throat and just kill him. Okay, I, two blood pups. Okay, we'll fight him. No. 66 bucks. We might as well stop it and see what other weapons might be available. I think Bad Axe has a bank in it. I think this is also the, the extremely cheap um, magic shop. Dungeon shop, I think, is in this place. Smash and Bash, you have maces. A shoddy broad axe. We're way past that. Just in case you're selling better armor, I don't think they are. Superb chainmail. If we get really lucky, maybe someone will sell me a garnet gem. That that go well, actually not a long way at all, given how expensive annihilates are. Yeah, 364 for a single annihilate spell. I do want to repurchase one light spell. Oh. I did the completely wrong thing. I want 
Light Spells 1. You may be wondering why on earth you want to buy multiple Light Spells. Because, for the, oh, what's our balance, by the way? 8,129 gold. Amazing. Oh! I just realized this is where the loans are. From the bank. I don't know what the loan rate is, though. Probably absolutely miserable. Probably a miserable rate on the... Oh, right, on the loan. Something else as well. You'll note my hit points were seven, about 690. Our max hit points are indeed 700. As a warrior. A blood pop, we're gonna kill you. I don't need to risk taking the damage. I, I don't think we'll stop by Ironwood. Oh, well... No, I can do a little shop. So, in the past several videos, I've done all my shopping on screen. Walking around the towns and trying to talk to you guys. Hello, Sloam. Okay. Uh, to encourage to encourage you to keep selling stuff rather than fighting people. To purchase that. Wow. Glow tip ran out. Nope, we don't need another. I said no. Okay, so let's. we're heading to the... Archives, they don't need to stop into the temple itself. Let's approach it. Might as well kill it, it's all money in the end. That's a terrible way to view fighting creatures. Eh, if I kill you, you have about this much money. I'll give you a chance to do. No, come on. I'll give this to the creatures. They're really brave. They stick around to the to the bitter end. Oh, that five dexterity we got, by the way, from leveling up is very, very handy. Archive. Uh, this and select disc four for the temples. Alright, Vaza Souls, let's find you. There's the mountains. I don't remember where it is. So I was, might be wandering around this for a little bit here. I know that's not it. I think that's not it. That's not it. All right. So I think it was it was around a loop, if I recall correctly, on a in the dead end area. I think that's down. No, I thought it was down there. I think this is it. This is it. Let's take a peek. You haven't used this exhibit. One amethyst gem. Let's do it. The magical vase of Jantir has been damaged by the earthquakes. We're sorry you can't see the vase in its original splendor. That's it. Any information that would have been here is simply lost, I suppose, as well. And you can see the exhibit has suffered heavy damage. I've never opened this exhibit before an earthquake occurred. We had a chance, I think, in this video to do so. In this series, that is, but I did not do so. To my knowledge, it's always broken. It's just a way that, you know, you get an amethyst gem, you're like, what's going to be in this place? And it brings, it sinks in maybe that there's a bunch of bad, bad juju happening all over the whole, over the planet at the moment. All right, so everyone, I'm just going to walk back up to the dungeon again. Uh, you know what? I, I don't have to have you guys follow me up there. So... Um, I'll be back, and I will be outside the dungeon again, because this time I need to do it for the money to afford more spells. Ugh, we probably... If I wanted to get max of all the spells, I had to do that dungeon like five times. Ugh, I don't think I want to do that. I think we'll just do it one more time, and we'll try to make do with the spells that we pick up inside the Marthbane Tunnels, which will be really difficult, but we're going to give it a try. All right, everyone. I'll see you in a few seconds. Hey, everyone. Okay. All done with the dungeon. And as you can see, I'm walking out of here with 5,410 bucks. Amazing. I didn't even have to use a life elixir during it. Although I will say that I didn't notice any difference in the in my, between a 27 and a 22 strength. I could swear that I still did the same minimum, at least, amount of damage during the fight. 
The dungeon creatures are just really, I suppose, resilient to damage. So what we're going to do now... Ooh, that was a nice amount of money, too. We are going to head to Bad Axe and begin purchasing a few spells down there. Then we'll head over to uh, Ironwood and buy some dungeon spells there, I think. Wild tension stuck it. And then, I think we will do the Marthbane Tunnels. Why not? Why not? So let's head here first and begin purchasing... After we kill the Blood Pup. Nope. Begin purchasing if there's any better equipment. Before we head over to... Um... Bad axe, yes, that's right. To purchase some some mage spells. So yeah, it's pretty relaxing just doing the dungeon. Just listen to podcasts while I'm out there when I'm out there playing. Um, we should pick up another seventy eight days or something like that. Might as well keep purchasing some food. Yeah, just listen to stuff in the background while I'm out there just following the map, getting all the treasure. Oh, that's Dragon Wheel. Oh, it's Dragon Wheel. If I'm gonna play Dragon Wheel for money, and I intend to just basically ride the whole thing out till I break the bank, then I need the first, make sure all my in-town things are done. You see, like, like I said, the Ancients, if you break the bank, everyone attacks you in the town. Which seems really odd to me that they would do so. I guess they think you're cheating, but to be fair, it's the AI that cheats <laughs> using fixed cards. Not, not the player. Shoddy bar mail. Okay, so bar mail is showing. Yes. Hey, even more money. All right, let's sell the great chain mail. And then we'll buy the superb chain mail, which I think is a little better than the bar, than the bar mail is. I want three. I want three of these because we're going into a very powerful dungeon, or rather, the most powerful we've done so far, and so might as well be fully prepared for it. A superb leaded club. Okay. Well, I don't need my great swords then. We're just gonna vendor everything here because the better weapons are here. Now, to be fair, we're also gonna pick up a weapon in the archive. But, we at least want two of these clubs. Because if we lose the weapon, I'll want backups. Okay, now I think there's spells here, aren't there? Oh, no there isn't. Oh, I thought there was a dungeon place here. All right, let's, let's get out of here. And we're heading over to Bad Axe. Let's approach him. Hello, Bone Worms. Two of you. Going in pairs. Doesn't really seem to matter very much, though, if I'm being honest. We'll still slaughter them very easily, one each round. That won't be the case for all the overworld creatures, though. All too soon, I think. I don't want to give it away, just in case you haven't played the game before. But let's just say that things are, will get a lot tougher soon. Okay, here we are at Bad Axe. Time to... Time to do this stuff. Hello. Smash and bash weapons. Are you selling anything better than a Superb Leaded Club? You're also mm -hmm. selling a Superb Leaded Club. I don't need a third. Not yet, at least. I, I hope I won't need a third. Mm -hmm. So they're selling the best gear I currently can get, I suspect. Oh, right, we have a red garnet as well, so we can turn that in for money. But I think I'll hold off on doing that. Oh, at the moment, the, the magic shop. So, let's buy three more light spells. And what does that give us now? Twelve light spells. Okay, next. Let's purchase some psychic protects. I'm going to take five of them. And we'll also purchase some annihilates. We'll take... Five of those. And just like that, all that money I had is gone. Now, is there a normal magic shop here? 
I can't remember. If there isn't, we'll have to go to Ridgeport. Oh, I think I think it's Glen Lake that has the cheapest spells, though, but Ridgeport will be much closer. So I think we'll go there. Unless, oh, nope, we have a place here. Okay. Let's pick up um, 20 Tongues of Flame. We'll take some more glow tips. Let's take five. It'll be close for money, but we're going to do the best we got. Armor enchantments, four. And now lightning bolts. We'll take 30 of those. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't have enough. All right, so let's take, let's take 20. Mm -hmm. Still can't do it. Let's take some money out of the bank. I think we'll remove a thousand gold. Although bank, I'd like to withdraw gold. One, uh, let's take out 1,500. So it gives us quite a hefty amount in there. And we can spend this on the spells. My alternative is to just do the dungeon again. And it's easy enough to do it, but eh. I don't wanna, I don't, I don't wanna farm the dungeon too much. 25. What's that? How's that look now for us? That's pretty awesome. Let's take a few more tongues of flame. My leftover spells. I think we will turn these into dungeon spells. Our nimble step isn't really going to be very helpful because at the low rating it has, it's just it's not really going to save us. So we'll just use, we'll buy some more Psychic Protects. Let's take three more. And we'll hold on to the rest of the cash. Okay, awesome. Let's go. So let's leave. And we, we could go over to Owl Temple and spend that red garnet for more money for more spells. Do I want to do that? I kind of do. But we'll tough it with what we've got. Tough it with what we got. So let's go ahead and get to Hawk Temple. Two Snifflers. Uh, have we fought Snifflers yet? Wow. That one died really quickly. Uh, no. 40. Two wild tenches. We must be in the foothills. Just smash their faces in. No, we're good. I think our glue tip is still in effect, which is why we're also doing so much damage. Might as well kill all the creatures on the way. All right, everyone. Time to do the Marthbane Tunnels. Find another dungeon soundtrack to select. Three stench creeps. Let's kill them. Can't let them. Can't let them threaten the people of the temple. Okay. Hello, Hawk Temple. Right, we're also going to spend those silver coins while we're here, because there's no reason not to. However, the, all the spells will get more expensive for us using them. However, we I think we need the firepower while we're in the dungeon. Okay, so let's begin by upping our Tongue of Flame. Lightning Bolt. Glow Tip. Why not? We'll increase everything I've been increasing. Um, what next? Let's take... We could train five points in Nimble Step and try to get it to 100. But I think I think the next batch of coins will begin dumping into Nimble Step. Let's increase Psychic Protect. And our Light Spell. Then, I think, Glow Tip. Glow Tip again. And... Let's 
take Tongue of Flame. Okay, nice. We are now an accomplished mage. Even though we're called a warrior, I feel more like a battle mage. Let's get ourselves... Oh! Let's actually buy a l elixir. We're still down one single elixir. And there's no reason why we shouldn't be at max. So we'll go ahead and talk to the empath. Hello, miss. Okay, we'll get healed from the priest, and then we'll head on downstairs. Oh, sorry, we already paid the access to archive here. Let's offer 100. Wants 28. Yes. Now, where is my archive map for this place? Oh, these are the other dungeons. Not the one we're about to walk into. Oh! Where did it, I don't... Oh, here it is. Okay. So. I made this map with you guys. Well, maybe not all of you, but on screen last time with you guys. I drew this. Let's see. So we should be in a corner. Yep. And around us is a ring. So where are we going? Oh, I actually wrote down initials above every single one of these. I see where the Marthbane tunnels are. Hmm, not sure where to go. Let's go ahead and explore these archives. We'll visit all the possible pl things we can open. Up here to the right is, I think, what's called the Blacksmith? Yep, the Blacksmith. This requires a diamond. One white diamond, as opposed to, I guess, purple ones. I have something called the MS around the corner here. Let's see what this is. Morningstar! Okay, so this is one of the ones we can open with our emerald. I don't see why we shouldn't do so. As much as we abhor violence and death, the power of fine weaponry holds a certain perverse fascination. For this reason, we collect and exhibit weapons. That is the most hideous Morningstar I have ever ever seen. Although it's it's massive, it looks like the one used in the, um, what was it? Return of the King, that the Nazgul was wielding. But the, it wasn't purple and pink. That's, this looks like a giant nerf mooring, morning star to me. The iron spikes jutting from the surface of this morning star bear little resemblance to the shimmering rays of a waning star, but its cold polished beauty is equally alluring. Would you like to borrow this item? Fight bravery. By borrow, they mean give it to us. Let's take a look at how good it is. It's a superb boring star. Now, we won't be using it right away because, remember, assassins. Assassins can break our weapons, and I don't want that to happen. So, we will um, be using the clubs for the first, I think, three levels. And we'll use the mooring star for anything below that. Over here is something I've nicknamed the BW, and I don't remember what that means. The Dark Wand. You haven't used this exhibit. One yellow diamond. Huh. I don't even remember what that's used for, but my brain's racking itself right now. Like, what is that used for? What is that used for? What is that used for? And I don't remember. That's awesome. <laughs> I can't tell you how many times I've played a video game, like the original Zelda or the Super Nintendo games or other games I've played in my youth. And I remember everything about them. And it's annoying because I wish I could experience it that first time again. And you, you can't. You simply can't. That, that's such a shame. Flaxton Incense. I... I don't remember. I don't remember. Let's move on. There's two things around here. One to the left, one to the right. Let's go this way. Take a look at the archive around the corner here. 
Underwater port. Okay, that would be really handy to take a peek at later. And now we have something all the way down in a really, really long tunnel. And then making some sort of a turn around. Chloe Ark's Cage. If I remember this one, this is another broken archive. The earthquakes have destroyed the cage, to my recollection. And this is the last archive in this one we haven't seen yet, and this is the one we want. Marth Bane Tunnels. Eons ago, when the evil lands of Melbane perished beneath the ocean waters, one mountain was tall enough to become an island atoll. This jutting precipice contains the ancient Marthbane tunnels, once home of an awesome sorcerer. His vile creatures filled the grotto corridors. The power of this temple can transport you to Marthbane as many times as you dare. Would you like to go to Marthbane Tunnels? Now right away everyone, we're just going to stand here for a little bit. Let's examine. So, the mountains here are a different shade than the mountains in the other continent. Also note that our background is slightly different. Instead of green with brown background, it's brown with a green background, I believe. Even the plains are colored differently. The creatures we can fight out here are significantly tougher than the creatures we would fight back on Thalin. Thankfully, this is all that remains of Malbane. However, the little creatures we can encounter here in this little plain and these mountains are very deadly. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna off screen. I'm gonna quick save basically, and then fire up some music for us, and I'll see you guys in the dungeon. Okay, everyone, welcome to the Marthbane Tunnels. Let's go ahead and do what we always do, and begin by casting a light spell. Oh, this tile set! I remember this. Last time we saw this was the Dungeons of Armads, I believe, in Legacy of the Ancients. Not that there were many other games that would probably have the same tile set for this. Let's cast a glow tip. Ready in effect. Oof. I have uh, owls and what have you li living down here. Alright, well, let's, let's keep going. So, the Marthmaid Tunnels will be an interesting dungeon to do. You see... The white boxes here, white boxes here are, I think, more bad than good. I'll be right back, everyone. Okay, we'll put back on the dungeon sounds, not the necromancer sounds. I backed something called the Dark Raven sounds soundscape a long time ago, so I have a bunch of miscellaneous. Things like this from, from a role, for role-playing games. All right, so where are we? So the white boxes here are very dangerous. And we still want to open them, but we don't want to open any treasure chests until we've opened the boxes. I know that's kind of weird, but trust me, we don't want to do it. Okay, let's... um. Well, we want to make a beeline, then, if I'm going to leave all the treasure chests alone, to where it's to where the downstairs is located. This particular floor has a bunch of long, single passages that go from north to south, practically the entire distance of the dungeon. Meant to confuse you, I'm sure. I have no idea how you would do these without a, a map. And without making a map. I I want to say I always made a map for the Black Silver games, but it's been 25 years or more since I last made the original map, and I cannot remember 
if I did this game without even making a map at the start. Here's our level down. Let's go ahead and take it. We did that for without encountering a single creature. Oh, hello, Kapok! Wow, we're doing a decent damage down here. I guess those points we put into the low tip are helping. I'm doing easily three times the damage I was doing in the last... Oh, God! In the last place, that was 50 damage from the score pod. All right, let's uh, move forward a tad. Wow, this is going to get really painful. Although we don't have to turn this way. I want to get that trap on my map, just uh, on the screen, just in case I have to back into that to defend myself. Oh, by the way, I think the last time we did a dungeon, I was discussing how the creatures worked and if they were magical creatures or what have you. They must be. Because I was in a dead end with one space behind me, which led to the dead end, facing outwards. And a creature appeared behind me, which is not possible normally. So, they are totally magical. And or they can- Oh, hello, Erp. They can phase through walls, and or have some sort of other special properties. Which allow them to just appear. I suppose we could play it off, or I could play it off. Oh, that was a mistake, Tim! Don't open the treasure chests! Don't open the treasure chests. Right, what was I talking about? Okay, right, the, um, uh, the dungeon. So maybe we missed it, but it was a giant snap jaw. You're pretty hard to simply miss a snap jaw. Let's show you the idol's magic resistance. No effect. Yep. I think there's one creature on each floor which is in fact immune to spells. Oh wow, our spells are being expiring already. So I guess the poison glow tip increase its damage. I thought it actually only increased its duration. No! What am I doing? Stop, Tim. Stop. <laughs> Do not open the treasure chests. That is a huge mis ah. mistake. A swarm of bees darts towards you. You dodge until they fly away. Agility plus two. I think they mean they meant dex because there is no such thing as agility in the game. I think, right? Hello, Thumper. Beat you up, and we'll take this downstairs. Yeah, it's dexterity. And it still approved our dex plus two, which is good. Level three. Oh, what the heck? Okay, we've got dangerous creatures here. So the weak creatures were only on the upper two floors. So the assassins are gone. Let's equip our superb mooring star then. We will open this box. An aromic vapor circles your head. You fall unconscious. Gold minus 718. You lose all your gold. All of it. But now it is 100% safe to open the treasure chests. So we'll do so. Yep, that's that's it. That's just the only reason why I didn't want to open any of them. So now I suppose, well, now we have to plan out our dungeon run to get all the chests. Oh, interesting. Did I begin? I begin marking down which ones, which of my treasure chests were coins in this one. Maybe a long time ago, I was opening treasure chests and remembered this dungeon had the knockout gas in it. That must have been why I did it. But oh, we're hurt, actually, Tim. Let's go this way first. Get a treasure chest that's around the corner here. Uh, Growler. <laughs> Oh my god, 55, another one. Oh, 
Oh, and there's something else I discovered about the monsters. You can be attacked by two of the same creature at the same time. So they're not singular creatures, at least. Yep, that's all I got. <laughs> okay, let's move up. There's a health item or an urn here. Might not give us health. Did so well, it didn't even heal us for 200. There's a bunch of treasure chests along this. This is the su uh, southern area. Hello, Snapjaw. Good God, all those hit points we just got cured are gone. The bag of bones, remember, is immune to magic. So we can't rush this thing dead. We just have to sit here and slaughter it with our mooring star. This would have been really impossible had I not put points into glow tip like I did. Oh my goodness, we've been hitting him for like seven damage. You would have had to play a mage in this place almost exclusively, which is to say, just use uh, magic spells and slowly slog through the skeletons and golden idols. For some reason I'm thinking, wouldn't that be awesome if there was a monster called Billy Idol that was in this? <laughs> Sorry. Alright, let's move on. Come on, Tim. There's one treasure chest left? Two treasure chests left in this dungeon. Oh, Sludge, I've moved into you. I think we'll use a flame on you. Sludge have a lot of hit points, I believe. More than... Uh, most of the like, past two turns. Most of, more than most of the other creatures. I was thinking maybe I want to do Mark Main Tunnels multiple times, but... To get money in the future. But now I'm not so sure anymore. Place is really freaking painful. Okay, there's one more treasure chest near where we came downstairs, but we're gonna grab it now. Because I don't intend to be marching around out here for a, any length of time whatsoever. Like, well, when I'm done in this dungeon, I want to get the heck out of it. I'd like to do this without using any life elixirs, but that's... it's obviously not gonna happen. Especially not for like, multiple growlers. Another flame. Ooh, nice, 64 damage, take it. Oh right, maybe I didn't... Uh, in fact, I know I didn't explain. Why do I approve flame... Tongue of Flame rather than Lightning Bolt? Well, Tongues of Flame are significantly cheaper. And I can just toss them without really caring about how it impacts our bottom line. <laughs> I just feel like I was about to say I'm like, nope, we're saying it. We're totally gonna say it. We're all about money. Yep. Our first silver coin in from this dungeon. Awesome. How you end up putting that in nimble step? Let's climb downstairs to level four. We are in the center of the dungeon here. How do we want to do this? Oh, this is one of these dungeons. We're gonna have to go down, up, and down again. Oh, let's climb up. Now, creatures will follow you upstairs. Let's pivot and back up. Uh, 37 dexterity, my goodness. Helping us survive. Down again. Okay, let's turn to the north. You are kidding me! Climb up! Turn and back up. We have to kill two creatures. Toad column. My god, there's so many things. Ah, we're, yep, we're gonna have to heal. Let's use a life elixir. We don't want to end up having a giant snapper. Is that what, is that what they're called? Snap tooth. We want to have a snap tooth in front of us. Paralyzes us and then we die because we get uh, sandwiched between enemies. Let's get out of this freaking hallway. Um. Okay. 
this is a really awkward dungeon to get without double back, without having to double back quite a bit. There's a health item down here. Yep, an urn. Let's see what it has in it, in it for us. The word Trimus. You think it's surprising to Trimus when he encounters a creature which is the same creature's fault before, but significantly more powerful? Like, obviously the creatures here are much tougher than the creatures in the island caverns. In fact, if we had fought in even a single one of these creatures in the island caverns, we would be dead. <laughs> we would have just died. It, would, it could have four hit us, and there's no way we would have killed it. Especially if it was immune to magic, which we, which we couldn't cast at the time. 62 damage! Let's cast a bolt. Kill it. Let's run up there and get that chest as well. Good God, it was so flippin' painful. <laughs> I guess it gets in your mind. It gets in your mind. All right, let's move up a bit more. There's a treasure chest here that we want. There'll be a coin that headed to the left. Let me grab that as well. I wonder why I didn't write the, go back and write the coins down in the other dungeons. I'll have to... Well, it's... Actually, it's too late now. I've already done the, the dungeon when it had all those chests. We want to avoid the trap. And then we'll move up and take this urn. All this money will have to be spent, obviously, on resupplying our dungeon spells. Oh, by the way, if there's a flying creature and you examine, you still don't notice any traps that might be under the flying creature. Just as a heads up. We go straight across to this. Ah, oh, it sucks. So, since our nimble step is non-existent at, the, at this moment, I'm very interested in killing the Etna, Eaten Eyes very quickly. Eaten Eyes can blind you, which you haven't seen, but I have. And if they do that, um, it's pretty nasty. Be in so much that your accuracy isn't affected, and if you have a map and you know where you are, and you can, and you can keep track of where you are, you won't be lost. However... Unfortunately, you can't examine for traps while you're blinded. Okay, now, where are we going? We want to explore all of the dungeon. Where am I? Is it a dead end here? It is. Oh, hello. That was creepy. Let's replay the music. Put you on repeat. Okay, I see where we are. There's several ways up and down here. There's also another box mm. that we... Oh! That's not on my map! Why is that not on my map? Let's add that to the map. The trap right there, Tim. I probably mentioned this before, ages ago. Maybe I maybe at the last time I played through the game, I was like, ah, I'll have, um, I'll have Nimble Step like I usually did. As you can see, this is a much more dangerous paralyzation trap. We would be dead had we had there been a creature who appeared in front of us right then. Oh! No, there is no trap here! I'm not where I thought I was! Alright, I'm not here. I'm someplace else. No. No trap. Okay. No trap. Alright, let's take this back up. Hello! Snapjaw! He's guarding the way down, actually. And I don't mean the one that we're standing on top of. Oh my god, 54, 63 damage! You find a small cake and a scroll reading 
for the weary traveler. Eat the cake? You think the cake is a lie? Let's eat the cake. It tastes great! Agility plus two. Must be made of frosted flakes. Let's go downstairs. Hello! <laughs> How are you doing, Prowler? I took it like a champ. Let's use a life elixir. Good god, they can do a lot, a lot of damage. I'm wearing armor, right? I'M NOT WEARING ARMOR?! <laughs> well, that would do it. Do I, did I, do I have an armor chant on? Oh, it's already in effect. That would explain why I'm taking 60 damage. That would explain it. I have done many dumb things in my playing of video games. That's right up there. That's, I know. Let's buy all this armor. And let's not wear it. I'm just lugging it around my packs. Wondering why on earth am I taking hits? <laughs> I guess the good news is, now we'll be able to see exactly, I, I think, why, I'm sorry, how much damage armor prevents. Oh my god, this is terrible. <laughs> okay. Keep getting all the chests. I can't believe it. Three suits and I wasn't wearing any of them. Didn't think there was anything there, but I have a weird mark there for some reason. Okay, let's, um... Where? Let's get an urn. Down here. For a tiny bit of damage. Hello. Toad colony. I think the higher level toad colonies, which is to say the ones in the, the tougher dungeons, tougher the dungeon, the more food that they eat from you. Uh, we'll use a bolt of flame. Soften you up. Nice. We desperately needed that. To the left is kind of where we started from, so we don't need to go that way. That and eyes. Just blow you away. There's a box here, and I want it. That's a good place to fight them off. Right, nice um, dead end. And our backs are against the wall, so nothing can surprise us. Another one of you. No problem. We got plenty of. Fr got enough morning star for everyone. You hear a chorus of soft whispers. Turn back before you die. I'm surprised it didn't affect our intelligence or something or terrify us. Let's think. Let's go back this way. Because there is a treasure chest we missed quite some distance away, but we're going to go and get it down here. There we go. Now, let's see if it's here. I don't think it is. Oh, hello, Growler. What the heck did you pop up from? Sludge heave. Let's uh, flame it. Let's do it again. And hack it down. I'll be setting off huge amounts of sludge with every single swing of the Morning Star. Yes, it's not here. So, we will be back here, and we will have gotten here through different means later on in this dungeon, if I recall correctly. What want what's around the corner. It's going to be an urn. We're hurt. It's awesome. Oh, I thought we were more hurt than that. Ah. Let's pass our turn twice, and this time we'll...
hack at the bits. Or smash at the bits. Oh, it's like a pinata, isn't it? Seems like we don't have a, a club, a wooden club. Actually, we do have a wooden club, but I'm not gonna equip it because our Morningstar does more damage. Not here. I'm gonna slaughter you! Really disgusting looking mouth. Reminds me of that, of the navigator from Doom. Oh, I haven't been paying attention to the damage. I'll have to pay attention to the next several battles that we do. This is a coin. Let's turn around. That leaves one treasure chest on this floor. We're making excellent progress, and we're, we're picking up every single chest that, we're come, that are on the floors now. We will fully raid the first two floors as well. For their treasures. Shame we have lost a few hundred bucks. Where am I? Okay, let's go this way. This is where I thought I originally I was originally. I came up from. I nah. When I thought I didn't write down the trap, I thought this was that spot. Okay, now where am I? Okay, I see. There'll be a trap all around this chest. And the chest itself... ...has a coin in it. Oh, there's two coins on this floor. I wonder why they just didn't call it, like, Skeleton Warrior. Why do they call it Bag of Bones? <laughs> I don't understand. It was a. Uh, it was horrifying. The sword gleamed in the flickering torchlight in the dungeon walls. Um, gave off strange shadows. It was a most dangerous opponent. It was the bag of bones. Everyone in the tavern starts laughing at you. A yellow diamond. Okay. I had this. I had a coin written down there. But I suppose maybe maybe that symbol now. Now that. I, Okay, that probably meant there's something here which you can't pick back up again. Which is to say that the chest is a one-time thing. We're backing up to get an urn up here to the left. Ah, I hate when we get only food. Okay, ow! Oh, there's two of them! Okay, let's magic and bolt the growler. can't pull the bag of bones. Oh, a annihilate spell will still kill the bag of bones. By the way, it annihilates everything. It's called annihilation. It's not called annihilate everything. It's not called annihilate, but not bag of bones. No, that's not, that's not what it's called. That sounded a lot funnier when I thought about the joke. <laughs> when I actually said it. All right, Primus, we can do this. Do this. Let's grab this. You know, some of these maps would make good Heroes Quest maps. I could just change them from all tunnels so I can see rooms I could make. Hmm. So, uh, you might know by now, I've been working on a board game for a long time. And it's never going to be released at this rate. Never happen. <laughs> because I can't produce it cheaply. It says it'll never happen. Um, I'm basically re -work I'm working on a redo of the Heroes Quest board game. I've been working on it for three years now. And I, I like to say it's further along, and it is. The rules are tightened up, the heroes feel good, the spells and skills feel about right, and it's my friends absolutely love playing it. The problem is that I have to sit down and get, the, get adventurers through the first uh, four dungeons, so I can see if everything's still balanced well, because I occasionally come up with different rules for, um, um... I come up with rule changes, and then I... Oh no, we're trapped. Let's magic other... Why not? We'll cast it Annihilate. Melt 
melts the creatures away. The range of the Annihilate is dependent upon your skill in the spell. Yeah, so everyone really likes it, but I need to check the creatures, especially later ones, which I haven't deployed yet. I've written the rules for them, but I'm like, uh, this might be too strong or, or too weak. Um, what else is there for the game? Uh, one of the reasons I can't produce it is because I use Dwarven Forge tiles for the dungeon layout, because I want, basically, I've been working on Heroes Quest for a long, long time. And many, many years, like, e easily ten years. Probably even before that, when the game was first released. I was a little kid and I didn't like all the rules because I felt it was too easy. Um, the adventurers, it was basically like a cakewalk for the, for the adventurers. They had no real threats, and I thought that was particularly boring. Uh, in any case, um... Over the years, I worked on cards, and I just kind of changed the rules and wrote over them. But the older I got, the more effort I put into it, until it became a really huge hobby of mine. I have easily spent close to $3,000, probably more than that, working on the game. In so much that I print out cards, I use colored printers. I, mean, I have a color printer, so that takes a lot of effort. Um, that takes a lot of ink. I have um, all these different models for all the different miniatures that I want in the game itself. I bought different forge tiles. I forget the name of the company in Germany, but I've bought tons of in-game furniture as well. This way, everything looks really good. I have traps uh, purchased from other Kickstarters and so on, and it's it's amazing. I really like it. I mean, I, I there there was a time. Um, let's see how to phrase it. I like it. I mean, granted, I, it's, I've been working on it, so I'm a little biased toward it. But there have been times when, like, I can I could see a spell or skill, and I'm like, oh, I don't know about this. This doesn't look very good. And so I playtest it with my friends, and they tell me later, like, yeah, that's way too strong. Or, no, I've, I'll never use this spell. Or one time my friend Chris I was like, oh, this is the only time I'll ever cast a spell when there was a, a city defense that they were trying to do. And I'm like, yep, that explains why I need to get rid of the spell, because you're only using it once ever, and so on. One second, everyone. We are pa oh, we passed. Let's climb downstairs, and we'll. I'll continue to talk about Heroes Quest after we see the new creatures. Welcome, everyone. Welcome to level seven. Things are going to be much tougher here. I'm facing south. One second, everyone. I need to get figure out where I'm located. No, that seems wrong to me. Oh, there are oh, there's several ways up and down here. Okay, I see where I am. That goes back upstairs. Where does that go? Oh, there was an oh, there was another trap way down before. Okay, let's head all the way down here, and we'll find a trap. And the chest around that corner. I usually fight my first spike around this corner. Not today. Not being chased by one either. I'll try to cover the special bill. Oh, we're now in, on this floor, right? We want to use a psychic protect. There's at least one creature on this floor which can drain our intelligence. It'll be pretty obvious what it is when we run across it. That's a dead end? That is a dead end. Let's go get that chest. There's another chest around that corner that we'll also go and grab. Hey, this is very profitable. 6,615 bucks. We have not spent anywhere near that much so far. There's a healing item here. We're not coming back in this direction. Let's grab it. Of course, that's one creature down here. Basically, uh, one creature's worth of damage that we just got restored. Angletooth. This is an Angletooth. To my knowledge, it has nothing special. I believe it does do a lot of damage, though. Spirit cat or something. <laughs> oh, there's another way up. Where would that have taken me? Oh, I see. 
I didn't realize there were so many ways. Oh! Wimbus! Uh, I don't think these have anything special. Some, some sort of bull demon. You know, we haven't been hit for like 63 points of damage in a while, have we? So, maybe these creatures are not quite as dangerous as they would have been otherwise. I think this is the last box on the on the dungeon, and I think this one has a pretty good reward in it. Let's see if I'm right. Nope! It was a different dungeon I'm thinking of then. Okay, we're all done with the white boxes. Oh, behind. We run up to the corner. Another one. Let's kill it. Spike! This is a spike. I think spikes are immune to magic. Yes. Spikes can destroy your armor. I think it has like a hook nose as well. It's hard to tell if that's just this frowning lip or a nose of some sort. But I think it's got a beak. Later on, when I'm not having money issues, I will just use Annihilates to kill them, rather than have to actually fight them. Okay, we're gonna make a right up ahead. And I guess we'll take this chest. There's a chest here as well. We want it. Oh, God, it's behind us. Let's step out, turn to the left, and back up. Angle tooth. Okay, I'm gonna go up and then okay, up again. Turn. There's a healing item. Ah, yes, this is what this is, everybody. This thing can. This thing is called the Intellect Devourer. I'm not. Oh, Mind Troll. I'm sorry. I thought it was Intellect Devourer. Okay. Oh, another creature. Let's use another flame. Uh, my flame. Still alive. Wow. Needler. Nothing special about these things, I think. They fly normally through the dungeon. You can see them at, at long range. They'll be flying towards you, and then they land. I love the little touches of the monsters that they did. We're gonna... Oh, might be okay. Let's examine. The mind trolls I will usually um, blast with lightning bolts, but we should be okay on this dungeon to simply use uh, flames. Open up this chest. We're not coming back this way. That's kind of weird to say, but I don't think we will be. Let's turn. And... Now... I'm gonna point this out, and I think it's a bit silly. But I want you to get a good look at the king when we go down the stairs right here and see him. Examine. You see a king! What's he doing here? Hello, king. Remember him, everybody. Remember him. I am King Durek. Have you come to help me? Yes, sir. Yeah, oh, yes, my lord. I fear you have been caught in the same trap that imprisons me. Unless... Do you carry my signet ring? I do, my lord. In times of distress, the ring will return me to the castle. I fear it can do nothing more than give you a route of escape. Okay, thank you, sir. Do you want the ring? Noble adventurer, I am in your debt. Oh, okay, we gave him the ring. May we meet in better times. And hopefully a better place as well. May we meet in better places. Times and place are both important here. 
Let's climb up. There is nothing on this floor whatsoever. Is this is it? It's just a single chamber. Let's back up a space and climb up. Goodbye, horrible creatures. And we'll be on level five now. Level five, where are you? Okay, and this was the place I pointed out earlier. Yep, where this appeared. All right. And we already cleared out level five, so all we want to do now is get the heck out of here. Ooh, that was a weak one. Okay, let's go straight across, I think. Oh, I might not know where I am. Oh, no, I'm good. Snapjaw. Oh, crap. This is a... Let's move up. faster to kill him. We're gonna run straight to the south. This is the edge of the dungeon. Yeah, so, uh, Hero's Quest. Yep, so it's great. I absolutely really, really love it. I have playtested it with, like, four different groups now, and every single one of them really likes it. The only problem is it's not possible for me to reproduce it. This means that I've been tempted, and what I'm kind of focusing on are the rules. But I'm happy to find it with the rules, and the first, I think, eight or seven. Ah, no! We might die! Oh, no! Oh, no! We might die! Hurry! Break out of it, hero! Okay, woo! We didn't die! Yes. So, because of how expensive it is, like, all the tiles, all the pieces, everything, etc. It's the rules I'm, I'm mostly concerned about. So, once I finish the first eight dungeons, I think I'm done with it. I keep putting it off because I get, dis I get distracted by basically video games and or other things I've been doing or working on or modding, like uh, Darkest Dungeon. And so, there's... Ah, uh, I haven't finished it, and it's been years. Years since I started. It should have been done by now. Plus, I have friends coming over to play other board games on occasion, and this means I can't leave my game out because I have to put the whole thing away. It takes, takes up a good amount of, the, of a 4x4 four four table that I possess. Bison bones are immune to magic. I should have passed to get the first strike on him. Let's use a life elixir. So I probably didn't have to use the first life elixir. It was just that I wasn't, excuse me, wearing armor. Oh, did, was this the way I didn't go? Ah, it sucks. It's, move up here. Turn. Turn. For the sludge heap. Move up and take the urn once we're done with this creature. Oh, once we're done with all the creatures that attack us here. Wow! It's like, it's like a monster party. I'd love to talk about the game some more. Like, how it works and, and so on. But I really want to release it to the public once all the rules are done. Like, just give it away. Just go to the... It used to be called, like, the Traveler's Inn or something like that. The, or Hero's Inn or something. And just re leave all the rules right there for people to play it if they're interested in it. I guess I haven't explored up here? Yeah, I haven't. Okay, let's take this other chest. There's a trap in the corner. I guess I guess we'll talk about it a little bit. So the the thing about my the game is that so I guess we should talk about the first hero's quest for a little bit before we get talking about the new one. So the first one was made by I want to say it was made by Milton Bradley back in like 1989, I think is when it was released. And I, I picked up from the store immediately. Um, I think my brothers and I, we all had like 10 bucks. We all pitched in for it. And it was awesome. Uh, it, the board game was had a bunch of rooms in it. it basically, uh, it's your standard board game board, uh, for starters. But the dungeon itself... Oh, one second. Am I lost? What am I looking at here? Okay. I think I know where I am.
Okay, I know where I am. That's the way... That is a way up? Oh, no! I'm looking at the wrong map altogether! Okay. Um... That's where we want to go. Sorry, everyone. I got really confused for a second there. Well, I was looking at my level 2 map, thinking, of, thinking that's where I was, and I wasn't. I was on this over here instead. Alright, the way out is right next to us here. So the game itself, you had four adventurers. You had the barbarian, the mage, the elf, and the dwarf. And that was it. And they had different amounts of hit points and different amounts of mind points. And the there was no skills in the game. It was basically just rolling these cool little dice. Six-sided dice called skull dice. And the dice on three sides had a skull, two sides had a white shield, and one side had a black shield. And you, uh, on the, in the American version, uh, monsters also had di uh, various amounts of hit points and defense and attack die. I've heard in the English, English, British, European release, don't know what quite, how to describe it. Over there, monsters, no matter what the monster was, it only ever had one hit point. Which is really weird to think of that. That would make the game really simple. But I also heard that in that version, you found the treasure as you adventured, like even your basic weapons and stuff. In the American version, you actually, you actually um, got the, you could actually purchase equipment between, between games. Uh, let's go down this way. Did, oh! That was not on my map. That was totally not on my map. It is now. Oh, wait, no, no, that's the wrong mark, Tim. You just marked down a healing item. That's not what that is at all. Okay, there we go. Should be a healing item here? Yep. We want to go back up this way to the left for more treasure chests. Right, so, um, my issue, quote, quote, with the game is that the creatures were very weak. And after, basically, the second quest, and there were 14 quests in the, in the original game, uh, Zargon, that who would, was playing the role of the Overlord, he couldn't really do anything to the heroes. The heroes, even with a few defensive dice, because, okay, like, so, I'm not describing any of this. Um, okay, so starting out, for example, the Barbarian started with a broadsword. The broadsword let him roll three dice. Uh, three of these skull dice to make an attack with. Every dice that rolled a skull counted as a hit. The enemy creatures then got to roll a number of dice equal to their defense stat. Every die, every roll that was a black shield would block one of those hits the heroes inflicted. And there was only one side that was a black shield, and the skulls had three. It worked kind of similar when you for the heroes, in so much that the when the the monsters would attack the heroes and they would use their attack stat, and the heroes would roll dice equal to the defense stat. But the heroes would success successfully block an attack on a white shield, not a black shield. And so, um, generally, uh, it was pretty simple for the heroes. Most creatures in the base 14 games, aside from the Chaos Warriors, had just, what did they have? Just uh, three, three attack was the standard, and for the most part, creatures struggled to really hurt the, the heroes. Chaos Warriors rolled four. And yes, those Chaos Warriors. Uh, the game was made by Milton Bradley, but it was totally a Warhammer game. Well, not an herb. What are you doing here? The mage was arguably the weakest of all the heroes, but one of the most useful. He got to select nine, I think, spells at the start of the quest. He had nine spells, two of which were healing spells. They healed for four body points of damage. Uh, the hero who had the most body points would have been the Barbarian. Oh, I'm looking at the wrong map, Tim. The Barbarian had eight body points. The Mage had four. The Barbarian had two mind points, and the Mage had six. The elf had six body points and four mind points. The dwarf had seven body points and three mind points. And then the... Oh, no, and that, that was all of them. Yep, that was all of them. All right, one second, everyone. I'm trying to see where I'm located. Do I want the last two chests here? I think we do. 
Let's magic bolt this guy. What's down here? Anything down here? Where am I on the map? I'm probably there. Uh, let's... No, no, I, I do want to go this way. Yep, we, we do want to go this way. Alright, let's go around the corner here. For a treasure chest, kind of... Oh, hello, assassin! Oh, right, weapon! Weapon, weapon! Just in case he gets it. He probably won't, but can't be too safe. There's only... There's only two treasure chests? Three treasure chests? Three treasure chests left, maybe? Is it all the way down here? Did I leave the chest here or did I take it? I left it. Right, so... Um, during the game, you would adventure to rooms. There was a quest objective, like, you have to find out what happened to this mage. And the game board itself, it was always the same kind of layout in so much that it was the same board, and there were these pre-drawn rooms on the board. However, the game came with all these different tiles, and with these tiles, you were able to make different different types of rooms, and it came with these... The, the game itself was in three dimensions. The furniture for the game was 3D. Like, it, you had an actual table, a little miniature table. Uh, you had a little miniature weapon rack, and you had... Uh, doors as well. In fact, I think if I remember to do it, I'll link in the. Uh, I'll put a comment down below, which will have a link to this very funny gentleman describing Hero's Quest. Will the stuff survive that? Wow! I think all this work for just two more treasure chests, and it's gonna cost us 350. <laughs> Right, so anyway, um, the other spells the mage had were not very good. Most of them were actual garbage. <laughs> and also, all the spells were one-time use only, which made him always hoard onto those spells for when he absolutely must have, must needed them. Must have needed them. Oh, hold on, I got turned about. That's the direction we came from. Mm. Ow! Oh no! You're ambushed by a trip bar. Acid damages my chainmail. It's now only a great chainmail. Oh, that's awesome. I didn't realize the trap did that. It's been so long since I stepped on one. But that's not acid. It's a tripwire trap. That makes no sense. <laughs> oh, hello, idol. Oh, I thought you were called a golden idol. Right, so anyway. um, So what I did... The game it's oh right and there's a but there's some other things too so the all heroes had an action and movement and you can move and attack or attack and move but you couldn't interrupt your movement to make an attack that's a kapak oh my god two kapaks we'll burn them to death and a big part of the game anyway was completing the quest in which you'd earn some gold at the end of the quest and in addition you could search for treasure in the during your adventure. Any room that you hadn't searched for treasure in yet, you'd be able to search for treasure there once. Or, uh, I'm sorry, as an action, a hero could search for treasure. Once every hero searched for treasure in a room, that room was cleared of treasure. And every hero could search for treasure once in a room. The treasure was drawn from a random deck. And there were certain items in the dungeon that you could walk up and search specifically, like a treasure chest or an alchemist table. And Zargon would tell you if there was anything in it, and those items had something specific in them. The rooms themselves, the treasure itself, either consisted of gold, uh, gems, potions of some sort, and or hazards and wandering monsters. Wandering monsters would spawn a monster immediately to attack you, and a hazard would hit you for one damage. And with that, everyone, we're going to stop talking about Hero's Quest because we're done with the dungeon. I'll pick up to talk about Hero's Quest the next dungeon that we do, or next, next time I'm trying to think of something to talk about. Okay, we, don't, don't, we no longer need that. Let's go ahead and get to the outside. And I think everyone will move one step and we'll stop here. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for listening to me prattle on about Heroes Quest. I'll talk more about it in a later video. At the moment, though, we're done. Uh, we're gonna, So, obviously, we're going to go back to the archive. We'll make up for the two life elixirs I think we used. Get ourselves healed to full. And then we'll go visit the castle, who I think the prince and or king...
Placerable will really want to talk to us about our adventure. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Take care, everyone, and thanks for watching.